Hello, welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. I'm Absurdities. Uh, picking up from where we left off last time, uh, I just decided to get right back into it, and we're going to talk to Snake here because we decorated his thing all crazy-like. Uh, but the ritual. This place is scary. So what do you think of the place? I'm impressed, even with this pumpkin head. What a sick mind you have. Got the place. Check. Now I just need some devoted followers. Oh, and I also need a Damask sword. How's that going to help you? You'll see. Just forge one or buy one at the mountain fort. Okay. Hmm. Damask sword. I believe we have the tech. Speaking of tech, actually. We do have a lot of technology in this tree that we can go after. So, wall crematorium, soul receiver, soul container 2, soul extractor 2. These are all relatively cheap. I feel like we could have done a lot of this sooner. That's a lot of prayers. Uh, some grave fences. And then extension healing from gluttony and healing from wrath. More fences. What else we got? More gravestones. Those are massive. Wow. Uh, create book and chapter and stuff. I mean, we can already do that, but we might as well get the tech. Soul container three. Soul contain soul extractor three. Yeah, that's farming. Wow, marble sculpture five and six. Adds thirteen and fifteen to the graveyard. And finally, this one, we can't get until we have 30. So, let me go to the morgue. Now, this body, this poor body sat there for quite a while. I'm gonna extract the shard. Um, yeah, we're just, we're probably gonna burn this one. I don't remember if we can put like half rotten corpses in the thing or not. Let's let's just try. Mm, nope. Okay then. We'll take the organs and stuff. We'll take everything. And I should really, really get on with the embalming stuff, because we could be making some sick zombie followers. Like, really efficient ones. And really dress up the graveyard. It's it's due for an overhaul. Alright, take you outside. Yeah, 57%. It's pretty terrible. There we go. Let's check the other corpses. I believe we already ran these through the thing. This is at 90%. It might be too far gone. Yep, just went to 89. Same deal. Let's just strip it. And I've just processed all those bodies. I kind of saved yet from that. Um, let's go over here. I need to actually empty my inventory. There's too much stuff in it right now. Uh, I was going to make another zombie uh, farm there. Maybe I will at some point. Yeah, just too much stuff, man. Too much stuff. Uh-huh. Uh, fish. Was there more fish? Yeah, there's a fish. And then there's that fish I store in here. And then the sticks. And the iron. We have 13... <laughs> 13 burial certificates we need to go cash in. Uh, what was I going to drop here? It was going to be that and that. You know what? I'm going to throw those in there, too. We have so much extra, so many extra organs right now. It's kind of nuts. Might as well put these together. 
And looks like we need to have a sleep. And alas, I am out of coffee. It's probably a good thing. It's 10 p.m. Right, my last cup hours ago, really, but doesn't mean I don't want one. Oh, I'm so refreshed. I heard that the graveyard keeper is an extraordinary individual, but nobody warned me that he's also a handsome man. And your beard is so, so long, so attractive. Calls out for me to touch it, to immerse my fingers in it. Well, uh, thanks. It's unusual to hear such words coming from an Inquisitor. Does it surprise you that a beautiful and intelligent woman can be an Inquisitor? Leave for yourself, my dear. Not all female Inquisitors are lonely, bitter, ugly old hens. That was one more Inquisitor was, a uh, she popped up. Her voice is hypnotic and her eyes, it's, I feel naked. It's awful. May I know your name and the purpose of your visit? Oh, I adore direct men. Lady Beatrice, and I'm looking for someone. Someone who... What's that disgusting smell? Is that corpses? Uh-huh. Please stop doing that. It smells unbearable. What? It's a revolutionary, unique freshener. Really, you prefer, prefer the smell of corpses. Definitely. At least it doesn't make my eyes water. How disappointing. I had hoped on a more arousing encounter. Perhaps next time. Sorry, you didn't say... Who are you looking for? Heretics. Sentenced to the Holy Fire. They escaped from prison and fled town. With the help of an old Inquisitor who betrayed his faith in his god. What? I'd love to help, but I don't know anything about it. Don't worry, my dear. You've already helped. Oh. Magic! Hey, what was that? I smell strange. Dried cloves and lilies, beautifully combined with the smell of rotting corpses. Okay, new task. Ask him about Lady Beatrice. Well, it happens to be that day of the week, doesn't it? Let's go to Witch Hill. Uh, I think we're all good to go here. Okay. Um, about my ceremony at the cathedral. Monsignor, can I ask you a favor? I'm listening. Could you attend a big ceremony at my new cathedral? Together with Bishop, we'll pray for water to return to the town. Meh, I have no time for such nonsense. But we need someone important to attend. Try to find someone from the royal court. Okay. Uh, can I ask you to release a gypsy woman? It's not in my rules to release someone. But this time I'll make an exception. Her friends have been making too much of a ruckus outside my headquarters. And uh, everything's ready for the next burning. Get some money, hopefully. Well, yes, we will. In faith. Beer, fresh beer. Beer washes away all sins. Juicy burgers, sweet as holy ecstasy. I'll take two. This is the best burning I've ever been to. Mm, that's tasty. Tastes like human, smoky meat. <laughs> town will be talking for months about today's burn. Whenever you're ready, we should put on a repeat performance. Just get your tent ready and we'll be in business. You earned 33 silver. I thought we already did one. It was exactly the same lines. All right. And about Lady Beatrice. Monsignor, have you heard about Lady Beatrice? Of course I've heard. I've heard about her for, uh, all the time in recent years. The other counselors are crazy about her. They say she's our pride, the future of the Inquisition. Sounds like you don't like her. The girl's looks and smiles don't work on me. I see the truth. Oh, Monsignor, your wisdom never ceases to amaze me. So what is the truth? This is monstrous, I know, but I'm afraid her faith isn't as firm and fanatical as it ought to be. As it must be. Uh, okay. Mm, wait, what's that strange smell? That's a long story. Okay. Well, what now? Ah, use the witcher's eye to check the area. 
Ah, uh, and yes, and we have to go see the Gypsy Baron, so let's go to camp. Talk to this guy. Your friend is free. I talked to the Lord Inquisitor. Your friend is free. I was right. He is your friend, so you're an important man around here. Tell me about Esmeralda. Where's your sister? Probably she's far, far away. They put her on a ship of the dead many years ago. But she had a child, didn't she? Yes, a daughter. Once she was a blessing to me, but now she's my shame. But she's alive. Yes, yeah, she's alive, but she betrayed her own people. She even betrayed the memory of her mother. What did she do? She sold her mother's last gift, disowned our legacy, and for what? For lust, for impertinence, in the town. She's known as Miss Charm. We haven't spoken to her real name for many years. Oh. Okay. Well, we did a burning. We can go talk to... What's his dude? The, uh... Astrologer. Tomorrow. What else can we do now? We can go check the waterfall area. Let's go home. All of these guys. Well, I guess we'll go in front of them. I believe this is the area they were talking about. Hmm. It looks just like the place. They were here. A young astrologer and the fourth keeper. The eye is trembling. Why, why am I thinking about unicorns? Oh. Oh no, not Bronchi. Okay, crazy. They were playing dice right here. Keeper was cheating, an astrologer lost his shirt, then his pants, and his underwear. Uh. Okay. They lit a fire and fried a fish. Hmm, I've never heard of poisonous fish around here. Okay. It's so loud, the waterfall. Then Keeper made a cocktail, mixing four types of alcohol in one flask. Oh my god. And then what's this? Then Keeper tried to catch a moth. I could see myself doing that, but he caught a huge hornet. Uh-oh. There, uh, there's Keeper and astrologers daring each other to drink their hellish cocktail. Here they're singing serenades and embracing each other. I just wanted to see, yeah, okay, never mind. Hello, examine. Help! Examine! How about from here? Maybe if I push the right button. You know, sometimes that works. That's where astrologer vomited twice. Ew. Alright, let's get to the to the thing now. Then Keeper knocked the flask over, then fell over himself, and... Wait. There. Four vampires attacked them right here. Some sort of magic turned them into jawbones. And bingo! One of those jaws is still in the ground. Okay. It looks like that's it, but I can't stop thinking about naked, raven-haired women riding unicorns. Oh, yeah, it's a Witcher reference. Yes, Yennefer. Uh, I think the Witch Clotho could disenchant this jawbone for me. Okay, let's go ask Clotho. Ask her to disenchant the jawbone. Clotho, I have a jaw. I'd like you to turn I'd like you to turn it into a vampire. Why certainly, sweetie, open your mouth. Stop. I mean this other jaw. It's an enchanted vampire, and I need you to disenchant it. Oh, that's even easier. Let me see. Hmm. Interesting. Its aura is so bright. I'm afraid I can't dispel such a powerful magic, my boy. I'm sorry. Uh, I was really counting on you. Are they sure there's nothing we can do here? Hmm, well, of course, you could always try one thing, a memory tincture. 
Great. I'd be really grateful. I must warn you, one of your predecessors, the third keeper, used memory tincture several times. He told me it's unstable, unreliable, and it has several side effects. If there's any hope it'll work, it's worth trying. By the way, you'll need some memory powder for preparing the tincture. Here's a pinch. If you need any more, you're welcome to it. It's 20 years past its expi expiration date. Oh, one more thing. If you meet that lovely woman who purchased a recipe for emotion, emotion of, emulsion of death, wow. Please remind her that she has forgot to take her change. Okay, thanks, Clotho. Oh, we can we can buy it. Uh while we're here, let's just buy a few extra speed potions, why not? And what now? Repair memory tincture. Ow. Oh. I'm guessing we go to the alchemy lab. That would make some sense. That's the mill, that's the study table. How and where? And how? Repair memory tincture. Nice, nice tips. Um, can't use. Oh, memory tincture recipe. Okay. <laughs> Unstable, unreliable, unbearable. Spray it in both eyes. Okay. So, guessing. Let me go back over here. Memory tincture. Silver powder and gold powder. Uh, we gotta do it at an uh, alchemy mill. Is this the mill? It is. So, a gold nugget. And silver nugget. Expensive stuff. And memory tincture. use. And now, spray into both eyes. Jesus! Uh-uh, my eyes, it's worse than shepherd's garlic. Yeah! Nothing. Well, Clortha warned me. Let's try one more time. Damn tincture. What? Make another one. Alright. I mean, do I need to go back up to that place? Apply it to the vampire jawbone. You okay? Is it like... Nope, it's not in here. We don't do it here. Alright, let's just try one more time. Uh, uh, uh. Nothing again. You silly thing. Uh, uh, uh. Nothing again. Wait, what the hell is happening? Okay, thankfully. I figured with three powder is a good shot. We'd have to do it three times. You're late. Do you require another lesson in respect, you miserable worms? It's not our fault, mistress. The town is much less friendly to vampires these days. The Order of Undead Hunters patrols the night streets with nets to catch bats. Yeah, it's a blessing we managed to make it here at all. You useless nobodies, your endless silly excuses, that's all I ever get from you. Have you wrung anything more from that priest? We've tried everything, mistress, but Alaric is incredibly resistant. Pain, cold hunger, thirst, nothing works. Then use blood thirst, you mindless fools. You mean we should turn him? But it's an awful sin, and... 
It will be done, mistress. It's her. I know it's her. Mysterious woman. Watched a scene from the past. Nothing is clear, but it's quite something, something, something. Oh, oh no, my eyes. It's like I've been staring at the sun for a whole hour. But I learned something new. I must learn more about that woman. They mentioned the Order of Undead Hunters, so maybe Shepard knows about her. And of course, Alaric might remember something. Shepard? Okay. He's, uh, I don't know where we find him. He's... Or he's up here? Or here? Here? Oh. Oh, interesting. There was a long line here. Corey, Adam, Miller, Merchant, and five others. All elegantly dressed with flowers and gifts. Oh, they're here to room. Woo Rose. Shepard appears, pushes everyone to the sides, takes Rose in his hands, kisses her lips, and carries her away. Okay. Oh yeah, he stands up by the by the barn right there. Don't go away, don't go away. Why do you have to go and do that? If you hadn't intervened, I'd have that bloodsucker the next second. Or he would have dealt with you in half a second. Sorry about that, I promise it won't happen again. Good, he didn't stand a chance. You saw how he was so frightened he went deaf. Uh, about the mysterious woman. Don't leave your home without a weapon, Keeper. These days we must be on the lookout. Evil is everywhere. No kidding. Tell me, what do you know about a woman in a black and gold cloak? Is she a werewolf, an evil spirit, a rider with burning skull instead of his head? She might be a vampire, but I'm not sure. Then let's go kill her, dissect her, and find out. Well, she was around 30 years ago, uh, but who knows where she is now, or if she's even alive. Black and gold cloak, you say. Hmm, I remember one fresco. I always admired it when I visited the town cathedral. As a child, it was called Master vs. Vampire Queen. And that queen wore a cloak like the one you mentioned. Vampire Queen? Huh, that sounds terrifying. While we're up here, let's go see if we can find... what's his doodle? Where is this guy, anyways? He's supposed to come out here, isn't he? Let's see. Lots of swords and armor surround Kukul and Snake, who are bargaining violently. A crowd of gypsies comes up armed with knives. Kukul runs away. Snake and the Gypsy Baron shake hands. Snake takes part of the stuff away, and the gypsies take the rest. Oh, interesting. Snake put on a little bit of a show, did he? Scam Kukul. The Lord Commander and some Mountain Fort soldiers were here. The Lord passed a sentence and they hung someone. York! That's how he died. What the hell? No, they hung two Yorks. York had a twin brother. Huh. Huh. Also, where is this guy? I mean, it's just about midnight. Yeah, it just passed midnight. He's just not here. Because I, if I remember correctly, you can buy a sword off of Kukul, the Damask sword. Shepard. Mm. Is he not in this list? No, probably not because we haven't met him. Well, that's frustrating, isn't it? Where is Kukul? Where, I ask you? It might... I don't know. I, I read the wiki page and it didn't say anything about specific days. But maybe I'm misremembering. I don't know. Let me check. Okay. 
Uh, oops. I have to ask the guards about him. About Kukul. I need to talk with Kukul. I can't let you in, but you can meet him outside the fort. He goes in the forest every night, to the west, not far from here. Nobody needs the mountain fort anymore. We all have to make a living somehow. What is this place? Uh, this path leads to the mountain fort. No entry is permitted. So now he should show up somewhere. But maybe not tonight, because it is past the time when I think where we would come out. So yeah. Somewhere in this area. So I had it right. I just needed to do a little more diligent asking. I missed that the first time I read the uh, the thing. All right, then. Next time, Kukul, next time. Now, we should be able to... Yeah, the astrologer is going to be there. Uh, first, let's go to the refugee camp and have a chat with Master Elric. I do what I must, but every day my burden grows heavier. Yeah. About Lady Beatrice. Master Alaric, you must know something about Inquisitor Beatrice. She paid me a visit. Beatrice? The council entrusted our affair to Beatrice? It seems they're even crazier than I imagined. What do you mean? Well, what do you know about her? Ever since she appeared several years ago, strange things have been happening. She's had a tremendous career, gathered hundreds of supporters, even including counselors. So what's strange? She's ambitious, smart, and quite beautiful. Not my type, but... Her influence over the Council and the Inquisition has grown too strong. There's a secret behind this, I'm sure of it. Corruption? Bribery? Informal arrangements? No doubt. But that's just common stuff. There's something else at work here. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. Oh, well, what do you got to say? Moneylender greets new guests. Moneylender knows all his guests' desires. Gold, silver, they're already waiting for you. Just reach out your hands. Moneylender will drown you in money. Just give your valuables, especially your gold valuables, to Moneylender, and the world's wealth is yours. And if I have no valuables? Oh, Moneylender is so kind, he gives you his gold nevertheless. Are you serious? That sounds great. Of course. Of course, you must be kind to Moneylender as well, and return to him one day <laughs> the gold you've borrowed with an insignificant tiny commission of 1% per day. Uh, I'll think about it. See ya. No thanks. Nope, nope, nope. We can make money on our own. Let's go ahead and take some water. Throw it in there. Ah, uh, five here? We can get a new refugee. Cool. So yeah, this, this is going to keep growing. Oh, soul receiver. Fence supplies for garden. Oh, 24 flitch, 12 wooden billets. Flitch and billets. Flitch and billets. Flitch, billets. We'll just take them all. Not the quarry. Refugee camp. And fence supplies for garden. Sweet. <laughs> Takes a little while to build, but there we are. Oh, very nice. Ah, Maquis. Inform him about the threat. Not now. Well, then when? How about now? People live like slaves and don't even notice. How could this happen? Uh, warn Teodoro about Lady Beatrice. Ah, uh, Keeper, you're just in time. I was about to visit you. We had terrible news. The king was in a terrible rage and refused to even speak to my cousin about our bid for clemency. His son's wedding was disrupted. The bride is dead. Oh, what happened? Inquisitors, a group of inquisitors led by some Lady Beatrice accused her of witchery. They produced some quote-unquote evidence, so the court's just judgment was swift. That's bad. By the way, that Lady Beatrice you just mentioned paid me a visit. She's looking for you. We've nowhere else to go, so I hope she stops looking before she finds us here. We'll have to stay here for a long time, maybe forever. How can I help? First, we need an improved warehouse and an improved campfire. 
and one more tent would be just right so we can take in more refugees. Hmm, that smell. Is that cloves? Where is that coming from? Weird. Hmm. Improve warehouse, improve campfire. Build one more tent. Uh, offer to build an automatic well. I have a great idea. What uh, would you think of an automatic well? That would be more than useful to us, but could you build such a thing? Sure. Okay. We just offer to do a thing. Water well two. Yeah, we need uh, we need them to just keep going with the foods and stuff, and the happiness will grow. So they still have food. Um, let's throw four kebabs in there for fun. Now let's go to the lighthouse. About Esmeralda's child. Esmeralda had a daughter. My daughter? Where are they now? Esmeralda died many years ago, but her daughter is alive and well. I think you might even her might even have heard about her. Her name is Miss Charm. Unbelievable! She's very talented. I saw her perform once. Oh, he's crying. Oh, I'm afraid she'll never accept me. I left her mother before she was born, but I didn't know. I knew that it would break Esmeralda's heart, but it was all in the name of science. What a fool I am. Young man, you must test these waters for me. Speak with her, find out what my chances are. Do you promise to tell me where the golden angle is? Uh, if I can reunite, reunite you with your daughter? Definitely. I'll be so happy. Alright, fair enough. Um, I don't think we need anything from him right now. And nothing for this guy, other than trading for fish and stuff. Cool. Well, I'm going to call that episode there. Thank you very much for watching. We'll continue in the next. Uh, do the do the clicks and all that. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. And have a good rest of your day. Bye for now.